Among the, those who attended that forum was Jeff Manbury, CEO of NanoRacks. It's a private U.S. company that has worked with NASA. So, Jeff, welcome back to the show. You know, we hear yeah. a lot about these private companies like yours, mm -hmm. like SpaceX working mm -hmm. with NASA. But how is China's space program working with the private sector? How will it continue to do so? Well, first off, it's great to be back again. But uh, there's been a trend in space exploration to rely more and more on the private sector for the things that have become almost routine. You hate to use the term routine about space, but there are certain things that the private sector can do more efficiently than the government. Launch services, my company does in-space services, probably more efficiently than the government. China's maturing as a, as a global space power now. And of course, like every nation, it has a military component, it has a civil science component, and it's emerging as a commercial player. And that's really exciting for all of us, because one day soon they'll have their own space station. As you mentioned, one day soon, very soon, they'll be doing commercial launch services. And people like myself, we want to see more and more commercial opportunities in space and making space just like another place to do business. China recently announced this joint partnership mm -hmm. project deal with Russia. What does future, uh, the future of inter international cooperation uh -huh. look like for China? Well, it's a very strange situation now. They are working with Russia. I happen to think that's a lot of geopolitical reasons for that. They're working with the European Union, and it's not as geopolitical. There's a lot of commercial activity taking place. Uh, I think Italians are in training to launch to the Chinese space station. You have political relations. But in America, there is a congressional amendment that bars NASA from working. Uh, with the Chinese Space Agency. And that's terribly frustrating to me uh, as one who wants to see a normal business environment. We were pleased at NanoRacks that everyone allowed us to have a commercial pathway with China. But still, I think I, re I recognize some of the legitimate concerns people have, but there must be a way for the United States to join every other industrialized nation and work with China on space exploration. Seems like everyone but those on Capitol Hill feel the same way. Um, what is new in space technology? We mentioned that you were at this mm -hmm. forum. Uh, what stood out to you the most? What are you the most excited about? It's not the technology, though some of the things being done in America with reusable first stages we've heard about and seen are, are cool. But it's a ch mindset change. Uh, when I was at uh, in the Wuhan conference, you had uh, speakers from 20 nations talking about commercial launches, commercial satellite services. Uh, so, uh, there was Chinese companies, now entrepreneurs came up to me with their own uh, commercial satellites this big, and they said, we want to compete. We want to be like Elon Musk. And I, I just think that's so cool. So for me, it's not a change of technology. It's the mindset that let's make space a place, just as we have fantastic Sino-US trade relations, uh, why not develop that into space as well? We heard some numbers, some dates being thrown out. Mm -hmm. When do you think we'll realistically see commercial service um, back and forth? You and mean we'll between, every, between China and the U.S.? Or China and the general. U.S. in general? And sure, going it's happening space. now. Uh, my company, Nanorax, is small, but we're 100% in space services. We provide services to governments, to high schools, to universities, to biopharmaceutical companies. And, and there are competitors now, I hate to say, in Europe. And, and what I met last week in China, they were merging in China. I met people that want to work with me and people that said they want to compete against me. And, and on the one hand, you're worried. And on the other hand, it's lovely. And so I welcome uh, China uh, commercial as a competitor on a level playing field. And I want to work with my government to make sure it is a level playing field. And we won't get that by boycotting it. All right, Jeff Manver, always a pleasure to have you Thank on. You. Thank you for joining us. Sure.